What's going on everybody, Average Arcader here, and it's time for us to take a look at another base mod. Um, this one is called Apocalypse Bunker, and it's made... Ooh. Oh, that was a creeper there. Yeah, I don't know. And it's made by a studio named Octfon. I think that's how that's pronounced. I, I'm, forgive me if it's not, I'm sorry. But... This particular one actually was a little bit of a diamond in the rough. It looked okay from, you know, the quick picture that you see when you look at the title. I thought, okay, that looks interesting. Let's take it a look. But it actually has a lot going on. So let's go ahead and get started. Okay. The armored car is drivable. It's kind of just like a little gimmick. It's cool that it's drivable, but I'll show you a little bit later why it's kind of not that big of a deal. But... Don't get me wrong, it's drivable, I'm pretty sure you can use it for something. But the cool part here is not up here, it's actually when we get into the butt base. Let's go ahead. Now, all that you see here, all these little things here, the traps. All these are traps, and you can activate them. They're not on yet, but you can once you get into the base. So, first things first, how do we get in? This is really clever. You have like a little puzzle here. Come on. And this will open the door. Nice little hint. They are all different, but point the same. And now it's open. I love that. I think that's really cool how they did that. Not hard to figure out. Read me. I don't need to read it, but if you first get this mod and you're confused, this little read me tells you everything that's going on. And there's a lot going on in this game right now, or in this mod right now. Okay, so, for instance, straight ahead, this right here is a vault, which you can open. Now, All you gotta do is, let's see, is that, that's an entrance key card. Okay, okay, there's another one, there's more of them in another area. I'm not gonna worry about opening this vault. There's a couple different ways to get into it. Let's go ahead and go over here. So here you have startup armor sets, okay? And it's really cool how you do this. See, you have one right like this you wanna try on. For the bell. Then. Now. I'm wearing it. That's awesome, right? So there's, there's not infinite amounts of them in there. But the cool thing is. Say. One of these get empty, which they'll get empty pretty much right away. <laughs> they only put like one of each in each. But all you gotta do, come in here, and these are the dispensers, and you can fill them back up. Or even before you use it, you could have went in there, made a bunch, <coughs> and then you're ready to go. You can fill it back up whenever you want. Or you can change this to a different type of armor set. And when you're ready, you can get in and out of them anytime you want. I think that's pretty cool. Almost everything here is done in a actual practical way with the physics of the vanilla game. Nothing here is not done, I mean, apart from the... Um, armored car really everything else is pretty much done with vanilla game now this takes us back up to the surface just a simple little elevator 
And I like how they did it too. This is a piston elevator. And we're back up. Now let's head back down. You open that door and we're up there on the surface. And then we'll have a new way of getting in. Right there. If you don't want to use that main front door. So let's head down. Now this right here is pretty cool too. This is kind of like a water elevator. At the bottom there is a... What they've done is they've created one of those sink whirlpools right there. So you get in, it'll shoot you all the way down. Well, then if you push that button there, it'll switch from going down to going up. But let's go on down. There is three levels, I believe. If I remember correctly, there are three levels. They are all pretty interesting. Nothing's, there's nothing really useless here. This is like the living quarters. You have bedrooms, I think four bedrooms. They each got storage. They each also have an alarm clock. So, you set it. I'm not sure if it's night out there yet. It is. Hear it? <laughs> I'll begin. And then you stuck the alarm clock. It's pretty cool. Okay, so there's four individual bedrooms right in this little hallway. And over here, we we'll have a kitchen area with a bunch of storage and an actual crafting table for cooking. These are here, but I think these are more so decorations. I'll show you why that's just decoration here in a little bit. You have a little fox pet. Then you have a a map here, here's the map room, showing your local area, and then a definitely just for decoration movie theater. It looks cool, but I'm like, when I saw that in the description of the thing, I'm like, yeah, that's just for decoration. I mean, <laughs> going down to the next level. Okay, now, here there's a lot going on. Really, really a lot going on. So we have the Ender Portal right here. Ooh, this one right here is one of my favorites. This melting room, I like how they have all the, everything's labeled, so you know where you, what you're going to. This melting room's cool, but let's handle, we'll handle that one later. Let's go in here. Now, the enchanting area. There's no Lampus in here yet. But I'm okay with that because over that way, there's a mine We're already set up for you to start mining. So I'm okay with that because the base has a mine. There's really nothing you 100% have to do right off the back. You can do everything from inside the base. There's another porter, so if you want to go get more stuff for another porter, you can. So what I did was it <laughs> you push that it, it pings out the associated um, bookshelves so we wanted to do level 20 enchantments that's how you do but if you want to just go all the way up to level 30 push that and it brings in all what you need to be able to do level 30 enchantments that's pretty cool this here is uh, just a little sitting area, like park area. I like it. It's a little, like a little garden inside. You can't really do nothing with it, but it looks nice. And I'm, I'm okay with that. Here's what I was talking about. Those, those drink, those potion things that you saw up there were just decorations. This is like the potion station. It's an automatic potion station. Now, there's one of everything in there right now. And what that's there for is to show you what goes where. It's not hard to figure out how to work it. In fact, there's instructions over there, but I'll show how you work it. Um, the only thing you have to go get is blaze power, powder. 
You know, that's the only thing you have to go get. And other than that, it works rather well. Oh, look, at, look out, look out. And all you gotta do is you open these doors, then you can get into the individual dispensers. So if you wanna fill them up, you can. Same thing over here to get into the rest of them. And then you can fill them up. But here you have another route here already. So you can start right off the back and actually make a potion that if you need to make it. The only thing that's, oh no, everything's here. For a second there I thought there wasn't any magma green, but there is. So you can even make a fire potion right off, right off the back. You can make some fire potions, literally right off the back. That's pretty cool. And then once you get in there, you can make more by collecting up magma green or collecting up slimes when you mine. It's not hard. Not, it's not gonna be hard in the survival playthrough to fill this up. And here are the instructions. Basically, you start out with the nether root to make the potions because there is um, already water collected up in there. And I think this chest, yes. So when those run out, you have to put more in, but it's basically like a, a potion vending machine already ready to go. It's pretty cool. You just follow the instructions, which has you put in the nether root, then it'll cook, it'll make the, uh, the, the basic, you know, potion, uh, I forget how, what it's called, but then you pick the one you want, then you pick the, you know, either the glowstone or something else, and boom, you're good to go. It, it puts it all in there, then it drops it into that chest for you. Which I like. But here's your mine, like I said, you got a mine right here. Already set up, ready to go. All you gotta do is start mining. These, I forget. Okay, yes, yeah, so you've got some stuff here that you can use right off the back. No tools, but that's okay. It's not gonna be hard to make some. And yeah, like I said, you already got it. It's ready to go. You can start, you can grab your pickaxes and start mining away and you're good to go. You can make it as big as you want, but once it gets too big to where it's spawning things, you use this and nothing's gonna be able to sneak up on you. This is the control room, which I like. Here is where you find the key cards I was telling you about to get into the vault. Now we got that. And this controls everything. Uh, lockdown, I can make it so that once I do that, no one can get in. Even if you use the code, if you know the code, if I have it on lockdown, you can't get in. Um, surface traps, all those traps I showed you, you can turn those on. The alarm, I guess the alarm goes on when, uh, will go off if I set it anytime one of the exterior doors open. So the main door is open, it'll go off, or the, uh, side door that I showed you is open, it'll go off. So before you lock down, you can know if anything's open, just in case somebody else came in while you weren't. And then the light system turns all the lights in the whole entire base, like these ones, off. And on, which is cool. Now that's an elevator up to the vault, but I will go up there later. I want to show you first this place right here. This is the smelter, and it, yes, it's an automatic smelter, and it's awesome. For me to use it, though, I need to go to creative so I can get all the stuff so you can see how it works. But first, let's go up here. Show you off the base. Not the base. The vault. There's nothing in it, but you could put things in it. It's really cool that they have this elaborate door and everything, but if I can get in <laughs> just by either going to the control room or going to the smelting room, I mean, I get it. It's so that when, uh, if I stored a bunch of stuff in here, I'm either going to be going to the smelting room, even though it had plenty, I think it has some storage, but I'd be going to the smelting room I'm going to the control room, but I'm about to be going to the potion station too. I, I don't know. I, I, I like it though. It's cool because you always gonna need, and when you're 
especially if you're building a lot, you're gonna need tons of storage. This is great. So you already have that set up and ready to go. You even has spots here where you can put, um, you know, signs up to what's where, you know, what's in what. So I like it. So here's the door open. There's a lot going on in this one, man. This, this is definitely gonna be a longer one of my reviews for that simple fact. All right, so let's go to creative real quick. But I can show you how to use this smelter. So this is awesome. So first things first, you need fuel. in and they start up and as they smelt it comes down into here See? that's awesome it's already ready to go but say you wanted to do it yourself here you do you have a smelter I don't know why they put a smoker in here kind of not necessary but whatever like they kind of should have put the smokers in the kitchen unless i missed them now another cool thing we'll take a look at the nether portal next but another cool thing in the nether portal is that if we go through the nether portal they took the time to get a little one of these like I build one of these every time I go it's never this complicated in my survival I just go get a cobblestone and build like a little thing over it that protects you when you come in so you don't gotta worry about things sneaking up on you I don't know why this door is open there you go um, so you can protect it from gas or anything else right off the back you even have storage here ready to go I like this little thing So that's pretty much everything in the base. It's an awesome little base that's set up and ready to go. I mean, you can do everything. You, you can literally do everything you need to do right from here. Oh, I almost forgot the automatic harvester. It's a small little farm, but hey, it gets the job done. Push that. Everything goes down into there and simply when you're ready to redo it you just pick up the seeds and you can redo all of it ready to go again and you can change these really quick potato farm 
wheat farm. You can change those, I believe, but boom, you're ready to go. You've got food, everything. Like, so you can get started pretty much right away for one of these, and that's how I like these mods. I want you to, I like them where you can start, you can get started right away, and you know, there's not too much you have to run out and go get. There are a few things, but it's not overwhelming how much you have to get, which I like. Then, we want to get back up to the top, push that, and it changes the current, it takes us back up. And now we're back at the ground floor. This thing's really nice. Nice, little, interesting. It's the job done. I like it. I like how it uses pretty much all the vanilla mechanics. It doesn't really add anything. Which, I mean, there's nothing wrong with adding stuff. I just think it's pretty cool that it, it does that instead of just adding everything with, you know, a mod slash, you know, animation. It's just like, hey, here, this is all functional even without, uh, you know, a crazy mod to the game. Which is cool. That shows they took their time and actually created something nice here. Uh, I need to show off the map a little bit. Hang on. Go back down. Sleep so that it is daytime. So it's not too hard to learn where everything's at either. The base has a decent layout that's not too complicated, but uh, easy enough. Remember, so here's the thing about the armored car, though it's cool, and like I said, I, I drove it, it, it is drivable, but there's not too many areas where you can drive it in your startup area here. As you can see, you're pretty much surrounded by water. I mean, which is not hard. You can easily build yourself like a little roadway, which is what I would do. I'd build a roadway out there and then use that to get back and forth if I wanted to build certain things or do certain things. I would definitely do this. And what I, one of the first things I'd probably build, normally I build bases or, or big villages. I would build underwater things here for the simple fact that you have this right here to get you started. I would build a lot of underwater bases and stuff like that in this one. It's a decent map though. There's a lot, there's, you know, there's not, it's not a crazy amount of stuff. Um, there's some villages once you head in that direction. And then there's a big desert village that way. But white, as you can see right there, desert temple. It's only got like two desert temples close by and they're both over that direction. Which is okay, you know, not all of them need it. I kind of still like the terrain. There's, a, like I said, a lot of water, which I got no problem with that, especially if you like doing island survival challenges. There's a couple nice little islands around here to do, you can do that on. Or if you simply like building on islands, plenty of them are around there. I mean, look, we even have a little savanna island right there. That I thought that was pretty cool. I'd love to build something on that. Um, I would definitely, I'm going to hang on to this one for sure. I might try to do a series on this one at some point. I just love the setup so much that I, I would definitely probably look forward to doing something like that. I would definitely, like, this is a recommender. I definitely recommend this mob. This is 100% worth it. It's got so much going on with it. The custom design of everything, the fact that they have all this functioning cool stuff, that's easy for you to use. It's not hard to figure out how to use it all. Ooh. But yeah, I highly recommend checking out this mod. Pick it up. It is definitely worth the money. Don't let a creeper blow up anything in front of it like I did at the beginning. But <laughs> other than that, this is, this is really cool. You'll have a lot of fun with this. Definitely, definitely pick this up again 
I'm sorry if I got your name wrong in the studio. I, I think it's I think it's Akvon. If I'm I'm very sorry if you didn't get it right. I'm not good at, at, at I couldn't tell you know exactly what was going on with that name, but I think that's how it's pronounced. If it's not, I'm very 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 sorry. But until next time, I'm Average Arcader. If you've been enjoying these videos, especially these base reviews, make sure to let us know in the comment section. Also, don't forget to leave a like, share, and subscribe. We are growing rather well, and the more we grow, the more content I can give you guys. There's more I definitely want to do, but the more we grow, like we're getting close to a thousand, when we hit a thousand, I'll be able to start streaming and doing more interactive stuff with you guys. So, I'll see you guys then. Take it easy.